Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I'm so excited to be sitting down to film. It's been so long. I almost feel kind of foreign sitting in this room because it's been over a week since I've sat down to film anything. If any of you follow me on Instagram, if you don't, you totally should. I posted almost a week ago that I had a treatment done to my face. So it kind of put me out of commission. I had some downtime from that. I'm almost totally healed up, but here I am. I figured it would be perfect timing to sit down and film a monthly favorites video. As always, these videos always make me think about how fast this past year has gone. It is so crazy. I cannot believe that tomorrow will be November by the time I post this. Um, so happy Halloween for those who celebrate Halloween. I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I've never really been that huge into Halloween. In fact, I'm super excited because I'm so over all of the Halloween looks. Please don't hate me for saying that. I am just ready to get back to some regular beauty here. So let's jump in. Before we do get started, one more thing. I have a ton Ton of new makeup to review. I have the Dose of Colors right in front of me, their holiday collection that just launched. I mean, this isn't the whole collection, but I picked up the Pretty Cool palette and the Let's Get Toasty matte liquid lipsticks. I also have the Royal Affair palette from BH Cosmetics. I have the Kylie Burgundy Extended palette and the new Kylie lip kit on the way. And then I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry palette. And then on top of that, I have this little guy here this is the Too Faced um, Clover Limited Edition. I think it's one of the Clover palettes. So let me know. I'm going to be running a little bit of a poll. Which one of these palettes would you like me to review first on my channel? Leave me a comment down below. All right, let's jump into it. I have a ton of favorites and I have a few items that are not so faves that I have been testing out. We will start off with the products that I have been loving. First off, I want to start off with a body care item. The Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Bod Buff and the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. Now, I'm not going to go on a lot about the Bum Bum Cream because so many of you know about it already. You know I love it. I am a huge fan. But this Brazilian Bod Buff, oh my god gosh. It is fantastic. This body scrub is one of the most luxurious, fantastic skin softening body scrubs that I have ever tried. When you pair these two together, oh my god, girl, you will have beautifully soft, exfoliated, lush, supple skin. It is so good together. And then of course it has that classic bum bum cream scent. It is so good. I can't help it. It's like aromatic when you're in the shower and you're scrubbing and buffing the skin. And it has like this yellow, it's like a yellow clay almost with like these blue exfoliating beads. It is such a amazing experience in the shower. I can't say it enough. Check it out. But when you pair the two together, you are asking for beautiful soft skin. So I absolutely love that combination. One thing I want to get out of the way is the Morphe brush collection with Jaclyn Hill. You guys, these brushes are just so insanely good for the price. I don't know if it's still going on, but they were doing a 20% off collaborations. These brushes are so well loved. If you could see the inside of this case, it is so dirty. I've even fit some of my other favorite brushes in here, but oh my goodness, they are just my go-to. I can't stop reaching for them. I'm not even gonna go over which ones are my favorites because the entire collection is my favorite. There's that. I just wanna give some love to this. I've talked about it so much on my channel. It's just so amazing. While we're at it, I might as well just get all the Morphe products out of my system. Recently, I went to the Mall of America and they launched the Morphe Morphe store there. They did like a soft opening. It's the largest Morphe store in the country. So I did pick up a couple of things there. The Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is almost gone. I got this like not even a month ago. I am so in love with this setting spray. It is the best. It will keep your makeup in place. Right now, the makeup that I'm wearing, I have had on since about 6.30 this morning. Um, obviously, some of it is rubbed off. I'm a little bit shiny, but it does definitely lock it in place, and it smells fantastic. This gloss that I got from Morphe, this is one of their lip glosses. This is in the shade Flower Crown. If you love a light, nude, opaque, gloss that does not feel sticky but is long wearing you will love their glosses first of all can we look at this shade this is like the best nude gloss ever and like i said again it is not sticky it is so high shine but so extremely comfortable i cannot stop putting this on it feels good on the lips it doesn't dry out your lips it is just probably right now my favorite 
gloss formula. I want to go get more because they have so many different ones and at eight bucks a piece. Yes, they are amazing and dare I say I like it a bit more than the ColourPop glosses. Yes, I'm going to say that you guys know I'm a huge fan of the ColourPop glosses, the ultra glossy lips, but I do think that that one's a little bit more long wearing and just a little bit more comfortable, believe it or not. The last Morphe item is this highlight and contour sponge, but I use it to put on foundation as well. It's just got like these two slants on the side and then just like your standard beauty blender on top. What makes this sponge so unique and special is that it's kind of like that perfect firmness where it's not too soft, but not too firm and it just blends out your makeup effortlessly and it's pretty durable. I find that a lot of sponges, even the beauty blender, you pay 20 bucks for those and after a few washes, they're starting to split and crack, not with this one. And I feel like this one just doesn't absorb that much product, which is insane. Like it barely looks used and I haven't really washed this. I know that's gross, but I haven't, but I love it and I cannot stop reaching for it. See, let's move on to another affordable beauty item. I picked this up about a month ago this is from Bad Habit. I purchased this through the Shop Hush website. This is their um, eyeshadow primer. When I first got this, I did not think I would like it. I'm going to kind of swatch it for you. It's a very thin formula. Like you can barely see that on my hand and it doesn't do a ton of concealing on the lid. It does cover up just enough, but the thing that I love about it is it isn't too tacky. It doesn't dry down too quickly. It doesn't look patchy or cause shadow to look patchy, but it really does truly extend the life and the opacity of your shadows. Um, like I said, I used this primer this morning for my eye makeup look and I've had this on for almost, God, it's, it's, it's been almost 12 hours since I've had this eye makeup on and and I barely have any creasing. My metallic still looks like it's packing a punch. The shadows still look vibrant. I think this stuff is like six bucks. I was just kind of shocked at how well it's been working. I've been testing this out for like the past month and it just works so well for the price. And again, the results that you get from your shadow when you lay it on top of it is just so so good. It's so good. All right, let's talk about a couple of palettes. The first one I want to give some love to is from Colored Rain. This is the Queen of Hearts palette. Um, let me know again in the comments down below if you want to see a kind of tutorial or full review on this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this palette incredible? All the shadow that you see in my eyes right now is from this palette. You guys, these metallics, no joke, are just beyond opaque and breathtaking like oh my god stunning sorry if i blinded you but like it is so incredible i honestly just like have like a heyday swatching these like it is so stunning I, I am obsessed there's like every shade in this palette to make a complete look you can create so many different looks with this neutral looks smoky eyes something more vibrant this orange shade up here is just beyond fabulous but the metallics in here and how blendable the mattes are it just steals the show i picked picked this up during a sale that they had. I think this palette normally goes for 50 bucks and I got it for $35 and oh my god would I pay 50 for it? Hell yes. If you have not had a chance to play with colored rain palettes you must try them because the formula, the pigmentation, the formulation, just everything about these is so good. I have not been able to put this palette down all month. It is by far one of my all-time favorite eyeshadow palettes. It is so good. All right, another item that I recently reviewed on my channel from Smashbox, this is the Holidays Contour and Spotlight Palette. You guys, this entire palette is $39 from Smashbox. The packaging is absolutely fantastic. You've got this giant mirror on the inside and you've got everything that you would need to highlight, contour, and bronze in one palette. This has been my go-to contour. I cannot get enough of mixing the contour and the bronzer shade. It is like my perfect contour. I absolutely love it. The highlights are stunning as well, but for $39 and the quality and the blendability of this product is just mind-blowing and I think it's fantastic. It's honestly one of the best things I've seen from any holiday releases so far. I just love that they came out with something like this. Again, the packaging and the formulation. And if you haven't really tried much from Smashbox and you've been wanting to, like myself, to try some of this for 39 bucks is just kind of insane. It's that good. Um, an item from NARS. This is one of their um, dual intensity blushes. I have mine in the shade Adoration. So what you've got in here kind of is like a blush and a blush topper highlight. This highlight is stunning. This blush shade, I was kind of like, 
I'm not sure I'm gonna like that very much, but I absolutely love it. It gives your cheeks like this perfect flush of pink. And this here, topping the blush or even as a highlight, it's like that ethereal glow, like that glow from within. Let me just swatch it for you. It's so beautiful and it looks like it's so pink, but I swear to you, it's not. Like how it looks on the cheekbone, like on the tops of the cheeks is just so like brightening and beautiful. It just shears out and it gives you this beautiful natural glow from within without exaggerating texture. It is so good. I love this formula. It's long wearing. I'm kind of becoming more and more and more of a fan of NARS the more I try from them. They just have such amazing products. Oddly enough, I haven't had a chance to try the Orgasm Blush or their Laguna Bronzer. That's like their staples. Everybody freaks out about those two products, but I just haven't tried it for some reason. So I need to get on that. All right, let's see. We have a couple more products to share from the favorites for the month. Um, I have to give love again to the Take Home the Bronze from the Balm. Again, another beautiful contour shade. This is like my one and done one-stop shop for contour and for bronze. It's that perfect marriage between like warm and cool tone that I can pull it off for both. And it blends so good. This is like the best contour, the best. I know I said the Smashbox one was, but this is tied for first place. It is just that amazing. I love it. And again, one that I have not been able to stop reaching for. I think I even mentioned this maybe in my September favorites, but it's made its way into my October favorites because it is that good as well. All right, one more favorites item from ColourPop. This is their Super Shock Cheek. This is one of their pearlized highlighters in the shade On the Cusp. This was a collaboration that they did with Kathleen Lights during her Zodiac collection. Again, I will swatch this highlight for you, but oh my God, it is breathtaking on the skin. It is so reflective, so beautiful. I cannot get enough. I've talked about it before, so I won't go on too much longer about it. Again, it just looks beautiful on the skin. Let's move on to a couple products that were not so great. So the first one I want to mention, and I've talked about this on my channel before, I've even used it in some of my videos. I have tried so hard to give this product a chance and I just cannot find myself liking it. I don't have a reason to. This is the Guerlain Laure Primer. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of this. This was actually given to me. You guys, I don't see the big deal with this primer. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I do not notice anything different with my skin. When I first tried it, I swear, I feel like I've maybe put this in a favorites video before. I don't know. I was really just trying to love it, and I thought that I did. You guys, I cannot remember if I've mentioned this product before, but I'm going to come out and say it upon further testing and use, I'm just not seeing it. And the more that I compare it to my NYX Honey Do Me Up primer, which is kind of like the same thing, I see more of a result from that than I do with this. This is like 75, 80 bucks or something, and the Honey Do Me Up is under $20. If you're looking for a primer that has like these gold flecks, it's like a serum, you want something that will hydrate and soften the skin, tone down some redness, go for the NYX Honey Do Me Up. It is so much better to me than the Guerlain primer. It's just not worth the price tag. This Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer. Now I used this in a BoxyCharm video where I did all my makeup using BoxyCharm makeup. This is like the thickest, waxiest, just weird consistency. It worked out okay in that video, but again, I tested it out further. It like, it's just it's so like weird. It's like dry, but like waxy and just odd at the same time. It feels so thick. It exaggerates texture. And I just really, really, really do not like it. I will never use that product again. It just, it didn't do anything for my under eyes and it creased like crazy. Concealers crease on me to begin with. And when something exaggerates it like that, I'm like, uh-uh, stay over there. I cannot use you. It's just, it's no good. An item from Sigma, this is their liquid pen eyeliner. This goes on beautifully and I love the felt tip like you get such a precise line with this But it transfers so when I use this and I was testing it out um, I wore it for a couple of hours and the next thing I know I saw an imprint of eyeliner on the top of my lid here Which is not cute. We do not want that happening oddly enough I haven't really seen that happen with many liquid pen liners before so I was kind of taken aback that, that happened with this one because it went on so nicely and it dried 
went down so quickly that I was shocked. And I had other eyeshadow on that day too, so it's not like my lids were oily or anything. Really weird. Again, the Sigma Liquid Pen Liner. This is just a pass. All right, two more items. This is an item from Lime Crime. Do people still hate Lime Crime? I know there was a huge controversy of that, and to be honest, I'm not even totally sure what totally happened, but this was actually sent to me from Influencer. This is their Bushy Brow Precision Pen in the shade Brownie. This is such a weird item. So it's got like a brush tip and it's supposed to be so you can draw on like brow hairs. I can't do something like this. It's like, it's almost like it's just not fine enough. And it is a, excuse my French, straight bitch to take off like it stains so when you're trying to do this like it doesn't get like dark enough and again the lines are just a little bit too thick the concept is really really cool and i think it's unique but it's just really hard to work and manipulate i just didn't like the formula i tried it a few times and it's just like no pass that was a total fail all right the last item is a lash adhesive this is lash couture i think this is from kiss yeah kiss lashes this is what it looks like it says it has Biotin, blueberry, and it's latex free. This is supposed to be more of like a non irritating formula. First off, you guys, it leaks like crazy. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but the cap is totally dirty. Now, this is actually very easy to use. It does take four ever to get tacky. I do have to warn you of that. It says on the packaging that you have to wait 30 seconds. No, I'd say you have to wait more closer to a minute because it is such a thin formula. And again, it takes forever to get tacky. What I like about it again is that once it does get tacky, it sticks and it's not too sticky where you don't feel like you're ripping your lashes out. But I will say, I don't feel like it's going to be a very long wearing formula. It's not going to last all night, but again, it doesn't irritate my eyes. And that's what I was kind of hopeful for this. Just feel like it could have been a little bit stronger. It was supposed to be advertised as like this really strong adhesive. It comes off just a little bit too easy. If I'm going to be putting on false lashes, it's going to be for an event. I'm going to need it to last and it just didn't last that long. While I did have some pluses with it, it's just, it's messy. I don't like the packaging. And again, it just isn't long wearing enough. So there you guys have it. So my faves and not so faves from the month of October. Again, leave me a comment down below low of the palettes that you want to see me review or which palette you want to see me do a review on first. I have the Too Faced, this little puppy dog palette right here. I have the Pretty Cool palette and the Let's Get Toasty Matte Liquid Lip Set from Dose of Colors. I have the Anastasia Sultry palette. Side note on this one, I have reviewed a couple Anastasia palettes on my channel and I have had the best of luck. So I'm hoping third time's a charm. I have the Royal Affair palette from BH Cosmetics. I am super excited about this one and then I also have the Kylie Burgundy extended palette along with her new Kylie liquid lipstick in the shade Kylie it's supposed to be a new matte formula so leave me a comment down below if you had to pick one which one would you want to see first I want to thank you guys so so much for watching be sure to hit that bell button and that subscribe button before you go if you haven't already give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it and then again Leave me comments down below. Let me know what palette you want to see reviewed first and what items you loved and didn't love in the month of October. Mwah. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!